And uh, talking about environmentalism, uh, you in your book you also discuss uh, about uh, plastic. Everyone is saying, okay, we should uh, get rid of plastic. So what's wrong with that? I, I, I love the anti-plastics movement. Plastic is the single substance that underpins society. If we hadn't any plastic, we wouldn't have any civilization. Our computers, cars, hospitals, factories, chairs, homes, everything relies on plastic. Plastic is a good guy and not a bad one. Plastic is made as a side product of the petrochemicals industry. What everybody's talking about now, however, and I discuss it in my book, is replacing plastic with paper. So if you go to the supermarket, you won't have those nasty plastic bags, you'll have nice paper ones. Like this one. This is a cardboard uh, glass. Yeah. Now, the amount of energy in producing paper and the amount of pollution produced by paper manufacture is far greater than plastic. Paper is bad news. Not only that, but paper takes a long, long time to biodegrade, and eventually it does biodegrade, thereby adding to the carbon dioxide burden. Plastic doesn't biodegrade, and we all think, oh, isn't it terrible? Let's try and make plastic biodegradable. Believe me, if you discovered a fungus or a bacterium that could degrade plastic, it would mean the end of society. Every water pipe, every gas pipe, every piece of electrical insulation would all break down and we would be stuck without any way of continuing our civilized life. Plastic is vital for life. And the fact that plastic doesn't degrade is its greatest benefit. It's not a problem. When you, when you bury plastic water pipes in the ground, they will stay there for a very, very long time. Make them out of uh, anything else like iron, and within a century or two, they're beginning to leak. Plastic is vital. And the fact that it doesn't biodegrade means that it doesn't break down and produce slimy waste, and it doesn't pollute the atmosphere with more carbon dioxide. I've explained in my book that you can make buildings and roads with plastic, and it's far better to do that than it is to decimate the landscape and explode our beautiful hills in order to get out lumps of limestone that you then grind up into aggregate and use to make concrete. That despoils the landscape and consumes a lot of energy. Grinding up waste plastic and using it instead conserves the landscape, does away with any pollution, and allows you to construct things that otherwise you couldn't construct so cheaply. There is only one problem with plastic. It is not the fact that plastic is inherently bad. It is that people throw plastic into the environment. The reason it's in the ocean is because people yes. put it there. The, the little granules, the little nurdles of plastic that you find, they have been dangerously and casually spilled by the industry. But most of the danger in plastic is from ropes and nets, and they have been thrown there by the people who depend on the ocean for their lives. They have been discarded and rejected there by the fisher folk themselves. The other great damage is, of course, plastic bags floating around in the ocean that cause an incredible problem for creatures. For example, those that feed on jellyfish very frequently think the plastic bags are jellyfish and eat those instead. But that's because some idiot threw it there. We used to, centuries ago, crap in the streets. And now we don't do that unless it's very late at night and all the nightclubs and pubs are closed. But we learnt not to drop our crap in the streets. People need to understand that you do not drop your plastic waste in the streets either, because when people stop polluting, the plastic problem goes away. It is careless people who cause the plastic in the ocean, not the plastic itself. I saw a documentary in this couple were going to live a plastic-free life. Two points. Firstly, the bamboo toothbrush will be chucked out after a year or two and therefore cause pollution. Secondly, the bamboo is not actually pure bamboo. The toothbrush is made into its shape by being moulded out of phenol formaldehyde resins, plastics. That toothbrush is largely plastic anyway. So by throwing it away, they're damaging the environment, they're completely buggering up their poor little kids, and they're totally misunderstanding the point of plastic in society. Mina's not keen on clearing away her plastic toys, so her mother does it for her. She might need some persuading. Mina, let's clear that away too. It's really very sad. So they took all the plastic toys from the kiddies and threw them away. 
And the kids were desolate. And the mother said to the little girl, and The next time you have a bath, you can play with the stainless steel bottles or spoons. Shall we do that? Poor little kid. Not only that, but think of the amount of energy involved in making the stainless steel mug and the metal kitchenware. Plastic should never be misused. But believe me, within 100 years, they'll be opening landfill sites, digging out all the plastic, washing it, grading it, chopping it up into fragments and using it to build highways and thinking what a valuable raw material this is. And if, meanwhile, we can stop people from throwing plastic into the environment because that's the only way that it ever ends up in the ocean, the sooner that happens, the happier I shall be.